Welcome to our tutorial on Sketch Tools. The Sketch Tool toolbar is located right here. If you don't have this toolbar, select View, Toolbars, Sketch Tools. I'm going to select the Line Tool. When I move my mouse across the screen, the mouse feedback shows I'm at 1 inch vertical and 2 inches horizontal. We have the same feedback line right here. I'm going to click here and move up. The blue color you see means that the line is vertical. At the top here I can read that I'm at 2 inches horizontal and 3 inches vertical. The length of the line is 2 inches and it's at a 90 degree angle. Here indeed is a vertical line. Let's delete it. And let's create another one. Let's start from the same position. Now I'm going to create a line 2 inches in length. Enter 2, press tab or enter. Now when I move my mouse across the screen, the line stays 2 inches long. Press mouse button number 1. Katia automatically adds a dimensional constraint. Let's delete this and add another line. The line I'm going to create now will be at 30 degrees. When I move my mouse, the line stays at 30 degrees. When I press mouse button number 1, Katia creates a line at a 30 degree angle. Let's delete and create another line. The line I create now will be 3 inches long and at an angle of 40 degrees. Oops. Okay, 3 inches here. Enter and 40 degrees. Enter. Okay, as you can see, here is a 3 inch line at 40 degrees. Let's delete this line and create another line. Now I've turned off the dimensional constraint button. And the line I create will be 2 inches long. As you can see, Katia did not add the dimensional constraint. Let's delete this. And now let's create a circle. I'll create a circle with a center at 1 inch vertically and 1 inch horizontally. The radius will be 1 inch also. Here is our circle. The first button on the Sketch Tools toolbar is Show Hide Grid. The second button is Snap to Grid. If I turn this off, I can position this point anywhere on the grid. But when Snap to Grid is on, I can position the point only on my designated graduations. I can turn any geometry into construction geometry and vice versa. Next is geometrical constraint. For example, right now, here is horizontal, vertical, tangent, and so on. Let's delete this line. If the geometrical constraint button is on, but I don't want to have any geometrical constraints for this particular situation for one reason or another, I simply press the shift key. Katia then allows me to create geometry without geometrical constraints. For example, here's a horizontal line. Press the shift key. The line turns white because it doesn't have any constraints. Press your mouse button number one. You can see that there aren't any horizontal constraints attached to this line. This concludes our tutorial on sketch tools.